Yes, mate. That's exactly what I was after. That's pucker that. I'm well happy with that. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, all good. Thanks, mate. Good. Another cold one today. At least the sun's out. Oh yeah, you round that side, don't you? Oh no! <laughs> but you do your knuckles all, your, all the time, don't you? Oh, Proper satis satisfying that. Like, but I bet it's hard work, isn't it? Yeah, it's time for it. Leg work. Yeah, you're all in the sun, mate. Yeah, only this little bit. <laughs> if not, if I stand here. No. If I stand there, you don't get any sun. <laughs> <laughs> now let me have some. It wasn't too bad actually. The second coat? This is the second coat, yeah. Ah. I might give it another one just to see what it looks like. What paint are you using? Uh, it's called barn paint. Oh, okay. It's just an acrylic coat in Obviously it's ideal for like rough surfaces and yeah. and it covers very well. And that's what I should be using down at the front as well on the front porch. Oh, okay. How's it looking? Not too great this side. Is it not? Nah, not this side now. Oh no. So we go back to the front, you're going to put you up again, see you. Hello, brothers. What's happening? What's going on? That hat looks too small for your big head. Does it? Yeah. Why did you straight away? I'll get out of the motor. The first thing you did is abuse me. Well, because if I don't get you first, you'll get me. Why are you lying? Actually, no, you did actually. Off camera, you gave me the middle finger. That's affection. <laughs> that is affection. Is it? Yeah. That's nope. not abuse. Oh, right. That is abuse. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. What a day. Oh. Oh, 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 Sammy oh, boy. oh, 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 He's a great guy. He's a little bit elusive, Rick. He's, he likes to putt high. And unfortunately, I can't hang about. Recommended by Andy, the carpenter who's doing my roof downstairs. Um, Lean Tree recommended these boys, organised it. And I hadn't actually met these boys yet, but in person. All oh. over the phone, the Rara Rise come out, surveyed it the other day. Said he was going to be here, bruv. Yeah. Said he was going to do that first thing for me, bruv. Done it. Do you know what I mean? They're good lads. I wish I found these boys in January. But you've got to go through life like that. Sometimes it happens when you're doing a bill, it don't matter what, if you're in the industry. Yeah. Like, oh, you get let down. People promise they're going to be there and all of a sudden they take too much on, they can't do the job. I just wish I found these boys before I'm going to have a chat with the roofers while Sam's got some intel for you. Oh, no, they're only from Portsmouth, yeah, but Emsworth and to sort of like Portsmouth no, everybody, they start getting a farmer's accent. Leap, follow me, leap. For, yeah. Leap that me. Once he puts that window in, like. Light. Yeah. It's in there, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, whatever you think best on it. Yeah? Yeah. Could you get me a tin of the Ron Seal two-part filler? Ron Seal two-part filler, Ron Seal Please, yeah. in white. They sell at a station? Yeah. I'm going there to get the paint. Yeah, that, 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 everybody sells that. So yeah, Ron Seal two-part. Ron Seal two-part. Two just the white one. White one. Please, Leave it with me. Leave it with me. I'll be back in a bit. Ron Seal two part filler. Let's go. There. Thank you, darlings. All grand. Yes. That was nice of her, wasn't it? That was very nice of them, you go. I'm going to return that favour now. When we get up here, I'm going to let someone go now. You know, it's about giving forward. Paying forward, I think they call it, didn't they? We're off to tool station, Ethan. Yep. We must go and get. I want to get 10 litres. Ask me for 20 litres, Uncle. But I reckon it needs 10 litres. When you look at their coverage, it does say on there that it does 12 square metres to a litre. So in theory, 
on a flat wall that would be, yeah? Because obviously it depends. Yeah. I'm painting Pebble Dash. So I've got, my stacks are three meter high by one and a half meter, roughly four and a half meter, and the back's nine. I reckon I've got about 12 square meters, 13 square meters on each stack. So in truth, it should do oh, two right. liters, should do a coat. So then I thought four liters should do two coats. So if we say we're on Pebble Dash, we've got to double it, and a bit more, 10 liters should be enough. There's my reasoning. Okay. We shall see. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to all station, get the paint, and then we're going to Travis Perkins. Uh, got to order a dumpy bag of sand and building sand for the boys to do the bonnets. Yep. Because I've only got a little bit left and I'm going to use what's left for me to dash the second stack tomorrow. And then we're going city plumbing to pick up all of our heating equipment. Pipe work, fittings, boiler system, etc., etc., for the house. Mate, we've been tool station so much this. This week we have just lived tool station. It's like you cut me open like a rock, yeah, and it says tool station. Got to pick the paint up, but now Aunt's asked me for some filler. He wants a two-part white wood filler. Bonjour, bonjour. You all right, geez? Oh. Always working, bro. Always working. Yeah, you busy? Oh. Flat out, in you? You having a laugh? Flat out, in you? Sam! Open the door for him, he walks off. That one there. 231. 23137, please. Here he is, main man. How are you? Not too bad, we good? We're good, all good. Come in, shove the camera in your face straight away. Again. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you ain't got that one. Have you got me an alternative then? I'll go with a small size. You got the. Uh oh. Looking good. 95718. Mm. Uh oh. No. You ain't got that either? No. You don't know. Yeah, I know, I know. He's just asked me for it today. That's the only drama. Sam, I held the door open for you and you walked off. I apologise. I was speaking to someone. I'm sorry, Ethan. Please take my sorry um, and my forgiveness and my love for you and my devoured attention to you all. Like that's it, I'll order that now then. I was looking at it, that exact one then, I was really hoping you fix it and you did. This is what happens, Eve. The customers mess about with it and play around. He ain't done his checks. Mate, people are out. Oh, Raz ain't done his checks, my old mate. He should have been here facing up. First thing in the morning, what I would do if I were this, face up that. Face up, man. Face up, there. Put the brew on. Yeah. Right. What they do is they mess it up, make my life harder. You know. That? <laughs> no. What we do is make it look nice, and then he has to keep up with it, and he never does. But the saws, this will do me. Got the wrong way around. And it's the wrong way around. But yeah, they're, got that they're all the wrong way around. Are you like? Are you like that with notes in your wallet? Yeah, hundred percent. I'm the they're worst. They all face the same way. I'm the worst of that. <laughs> that be in tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. With him. Sure, bro. Thank you, mate. After about three weeks, though. Oh, is it in the afternoon? Yeah, in the afternoon. Yeah. All right, guys. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. See you, mate. See you, Good to see you. So I'm here today to pick up all of me um, eating and plumbing equipment, basically, for the bathrooms, heating system, and whatever else. Eating and plumbing. Eating and plumbing. Don't be that guy. Eh? Oh yeah, look what I just seen there in the window. D21. Yeah, straight, <laughs> straight on your left. It's like it follows us round, isn't it? Display. Oh yeah, I think we might need to do a little bit of face work. You know what I mean, son? You know what I mean, son? We've got to cut the vans. I need yeah, a little washer. 300 litre cylinder to get in there. That guy in the transit. Lovely. Thank you very much. Get that in there. There's my cylinder. There's my boiler. Mm. Pipe work and stuff, yeah. Yeah. We'll get the pipe work in the Astro van because it go through the seat, wouldn't it? Big old, you know what that is, Ethan? That is a fridge. That is a fridge freezer. <laughs> is it? No, it's not. Oh. That's a cylinder. That's a cylinder. That's the boiler. That's something else. Enough copper is to go around the world. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Sam. Oh, Sam, what's the paint work? That van's worth a lot of money. Oh, no. It's actually surprisingly heavy, this one. Is it? You're going to have to strap this one up as well. 
Once I've figured out how to strap these doors up, we're going to say our goodbyes and head back to my house. Thank you very much. Thanks for sorting out. Thank I appreciate that hard work. That was really getting that ready for me as well. You, you pull me on my vocabulary all the time. Well, it's a shocking vocabulary, that's why. How is it though? I bet you them boys up there talk as backward as me. Because you, you boys are from where? Portsmouth Emsworth, mate. Right? You got you got farmer accent, innit? <laughs> Compared to us. Mark, you see the cameraman, he pulls me on things I always say because I talk backward a little bit and I have odd words pop out and they mean something to me but they don't mean anything to him. <laughs> so he always pulls me up on it. I said eating earlier on, not heating. So what are you pulling the man on eating? I said, I bet them boys talk the same. They, they got a different language. Yeah, but I bet I can understand it. <laughs> no, you won't. Ethan won't, but I, I will. If you, if you know how to deal with cows and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, I went, I know, to, I heard I went it. to college. I didn't hear it a minute ago. Oh, you told me that from, story. From, Ep uh, from Emsworth. He told me this. And he's literally 10 minutes from Chichester. Spoke like a farmer. And weird, then you go, it? And you like go a little bit off. further into Portsmouth, and they start to not have it. It's really weird. Honestly, the I've always found accents really fascinating because you, tra you travel a couple hours and then keep them out. Well, them different. boys, literally 10 minutes and they do sound like a farmer. Oh, it's man. really weird. It's just the way of the world, I guess. How long do you reckon until accents are completely gone? Because nah, I, 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 no, I reckon they will. Because technology and that will take over and everyone will just start talking the same. Is that heavy, mate? Jesus. <sighs> Hello. No, Greg, look. Your yeah, yeah, did. Look at that. I'm 20 today. She's 20 today. Get her hair done, mate. <laughs> you don't look old enough to have an 18 year old daughter. Oh, five children on the way, yeah. You don't look old enough, baby. I know, babe. <laughs> you look beautiful this morning, Ray. Thank you. What are you after? Sausage sandwich? No, peanut butter on toast. <laughs> <laughs> Caution, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this box is heavy. You don't know what uh, life cycle the box has had, if it's been reused, do you? No, no. Oh, no. We'll take the light one. You joker, bro. I'll make it look like it. How's it going, Unc? All good? Yeah. What are you listening to today? All sorts again. All sorts? Yeah, all sorts again. You're never going to tell me what song? No, all sorts. I can't have any, anything. Oh, well, my son. Nice hats, They're lovely hats, mate. They are. They're going back up for sale. Um, we're going to start selling a few more, and we're doing them over at Gary's place. You know, kit shop workwear. Yeah. On his website is where you can buy them. Now you can't buy these on our website. You buy these on his website because he's dealing with all the shipping and stuff. These are twenty-five quid a hat. 3D embroidery. You've got the twin L, twin head logo each side. Printed out on the inside as well. Official oh, merch. Sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's Merch yeah, yeah, it's nice, man. That, yeah, it looks wicked, bruv. It's, it's all nice. printed there, printed there, printed there, and then you've got your 3D embroidery on there as well. Well worth the money. 25 quid. Treat, treat a loved one. Why not? Bloody hell, boys. You keeping any of the roof on? Rather not. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Not good. Oh, no. Say what, he could have done with some of that CT1 on here. <laughs> Just covered the whole roof in CT1. <laughs> it's my only two jobs, he's holding this lump of metal and pointing it at people and making teeth. What are you better at? And I'm okay with that. What's that? What are you better at? What am I better at? That's a good question. Probably this. <laughs> but I do like to make it do like to make a cup of tea. We'll be the judge on that in a sec. Alright, alright, I'll make it proper then. Same thing. Five children. Go to the gym at R4 every morning, same as me. See? You love it, didn't you, bro? I found a mirror. <laughs> I found a mirror. I ain't found anyone else. What does that? He's been good, actually. Yeah, we jinxed it. I might have jinxed it. Oh, really? Yeah, when I moved, he went upstairs and pissed on my bed no. and then pulled the pillar over it to hide it. No. So, so, I, so yeah. I've tanned him. <laughs> <laughs> I've tanned him for that one. He's never done that before. Never, never done it, so he got a little tanny for that Come one. On. And since then, he's been real good, but he learned. I think he's learned. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's I reckon I'm gonna nick him because he comes wandering out here like he owns the joint. <laughs> Someone <laughs> lean over and grab him. Yeah, and then it? they'll give him back. They will bring him straight back. You are annoying, Jimmy. Good for tea. That's right, mate. How was it? Beautiful, mate. Yeah? Yeah, not bad. Out of 10, what do you reckon? That was, that was a good nine. That was a strong Ooh. nine, yeah. yeah. I'll take that. What are you was after? It, was it all right? 
<laughs> Here's the wheels on that. <laughs> hey, ready? Come here a minute. Let me measure. Come here a minute. Oh, you want to measure my belt? Measure the, the shower tray. <laughs> You know Don't what? you dare oh. measure my arm! Oh, oh, no. It's time! You know what? You're gonna have to stand there a minute! Stand there a minute! I'm thinking if my shower tray is gonna be big enough for a chad! Stand there a minute! No! Stand no. there! No! Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy! I reckon we might be tight! <laughs> we have to go over the, we have to go over the thin tile! Right, well done. I'll see you in a bit. Bye! Hey, if you're jumping in with me. Sam! Unnecessary, mate. That's like the one I got earlier. It made me smile. Oh, it's all about you, isn't it? No, it ain't all about me, Ethan, actually. It's always about yeah, me. Thank you, thank you, V. What? You creep. Do you know what he just said about you? Oh, when I was measuring your backside? Oh, I'm not said, even saying. He said it right? looks lovely, darling. That's exactly you. look good for a 39! <laughs> <laughs> and they're ripping it off, aren't they? Oh, they're doing a good job, though. Ripping it off, mate. Starting. <laughs> they might not come back. Oh, my God. Imagine. Imagine they leave you half a room. Imagine that, bruv. That's what happens though. Some people, that's what happens to some people. We did say, we just get a massive tube of CT1 and just do the whole roof. Just imagine, just the whole like. CT1 and brute force tape, hold it all down. CT1 roof. <laughs> all we do, CT1 it down and then brute force tape like a strap. No, over no, the whole lot. no tiles or nothing. <laughs> just CT1. <laughs> and just like. Gunk it on and trail yeah, it in. Trail it in, yeah. <laughs> it would work, mate. It's a lot of gear. It might be quite heavy. Hmm. I don't think there'd be any more heavier than the tiles. True. He is good, Sam, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good lad. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. People, you know what people get, you know they got to him the other day, people saying he don't work. Did it? No, it didn't. He bit though, innit? Yeah, oh yeah, true. Because he don't, he don't, he, he, a couple of times, he must have had a bad day, because in the last six, seven years or whatever we've been doing this, he's only bit a couple of times at it, and I saw it the other day, and I said, bro, why are you letting it bother you? What people saying? He's like, just dickheads, innit? I said, yeah. And then he went oh, and he did. Oh, he did? Yeah, I just think, yeah, I don't know, maybe he's having a bad day. Yeah. Literally, people literally see minutes of a video, three, four, five minutes, whatever, ten minutes, whatever it might be. Yeah, yeah, of course. And they think that's your whole day. Yeah. Do you know Sam, what I mean? Sam's a proper hard worker. Mate, he really is. All the time. And the thing is, for me as well, is we're in the vans a lot of the a lot of the time. Yeah. And he's on his phone working. Mate, there's not like he's scrolling on TikTok. I'll promise you. Videos or no, 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 no. There's 24 Ooh. hours in a day, yeah? we all got the same, right? And I promise you this, Sam, I reckon, he's Whoa. lucky if he has, if he's lucky if he has eight hours of that to himself throughout a day. <laughs> I don't know how he's got time for little old Keely. Yeah, same as me, mate. You don't get time. Listen, this is another thing, right? If you want to get somewhere in life, you've got to put the effort in. Yeah. What, what is the worth of work? You can't work the same hours as your next door neighbour if you want to have more than your next door neighbour. Unless you're real pot lucky with an idea or an invention or something. Sometimes people get pot lucky and become millionaires just like that. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's work smarter, isn't it? Everyone wants find to find the balance. Yeah, but everyone, yeah, but if everyone wants to work smarter, no one wants to graft their nuts off, mate. No one does. I don't want no, to particularly course. work seven days a week. 15 hour long days. I don't I particularly don't want to do that at 40 years of age. Well the formula is work smarter and harder. That's what you've got to do. Like you've got to put the effort in for 10 years. 10 years. If you graft your bastard off for 10 years and and learn every year along the way, because every year you're along the way you're learning a little bit more to make that year a little bit better. Yep. And if you do that, then you'll be alright. I'd love to spend I'd love to spend 10 hours a day with my wife and my kids. I'd love it. Why would I not? But if I did, they wouldn't be able to eat at the end of the week. They wouldn't have their nice house they've got. Yeah. My daughter wouldn't be driving the car she drives. My wife wouldn't be driving the truck she drives. So therefore, there's a balance. And, and, and you have to sacrifice certain things for a certain period of time. Look, you just said it a minute ago. How hard does Sam work? Seven days a week, that boy graphs. And now he's buying a house. He's finally got the money together to buy the house. Got a graft thief. Social, socialising is, is a privilege when you're trying to get somewhere and do stuff. Going out with your mates for beers, enjoying walks on the countryside. <laughs> All of that, bro, is a privilege. And I know what people are going to say, yeah, but it's time and you can't get time back. And I know you don't, you don't. 
But at the same time, if you want something in life, then you've got to sacrifice. Oh, look. Here's my mate Sam. Hello, mate. What's the chance in that? I, I promise you now, this is the gospel. I, when I started to believe, after I come out of my court cases and whatever else, and I come through all the shit, lost everything, on me arse, bottomed out, that's when I started to believe. In a spirit, do you know of something? Do you know what I mean? Started yeah. to believe, started to say thank you, started to show gratitude every day, started to, well, every time I got up in the morning, thank you for waking me up, do you know what I mean? And it's that mm. sort of thing. And just being gracious about it, my life changed. My life completely changed. More comes to you, mate. And, and the nicer I become. Because I weren't always a very nice man like I am now, Ethan. I'm a very, now, back in the day, I was angry. Getting into trouble, fighting, selling gear, doing whatever else. Not a nice person, and that's why I got taught a lesson by the big man upstairs. Mm. You cocky prick, we're taking it away from you, I always <laughs> say. And he learnt me a lesson, mate. Tan my ass, bottom me out. Grow from the ashes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come in the shower tray. Oh, yeah. I, I think we think we're in the right gap. <laughs> what have you got there, brothers? Shower tray, mate, for the downstairs shower room. Lovely. I'm just looking where the waste is. Normally they come here. Thank you, mate. This one, slightly different, darling. This From our is, mate yeah. at City Plumbing. They're normally here, isn't they? Where's all the roof gone? That, that uh, first set of roofers. Six now. What should it be? 100 mil. Four years. That was the thing, I'll take all this off, just all this. That should be half bond on that, should it? Yeah. Yeah, but at least up here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is, cut the inches out, isn't it? Yeah. Listen. Yeah. From the expert, mate. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Nice. That looks cool, doesn't it? Better than that old plastic what was up there. Yeah, that looks way better. That's nice. That's pucker. Yeah, them cuts are all. I know they're like little pin little cuts there, every other. Yeah, that one. They're all right, isn't it? Yeah, The other fella was saying it ain't gonna work out. And why not find you boys in January? <laughs> Roof would have been done two, three weeks ago. It's true, mate. Not hanging about. Ain't hanging about, and they're doing it, and it's the right job as well. But hey, on. As I said this morning, you live and learn, didn't you? That looks good though. Yes, mate. That's exactly what I was after. I'm having a chat with the roofers about a series of problems that we've got, and yet another one turns up, and that regards materials. We just can't get um, hold of what we need. Uh-oh. 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 Where's half your roof gone, mate? These boys have took it apart, mate. But they they advised me that they're gonna put it back. Oh. Fingers crossed for any luck. Might be on they're the, the fourth, chaps, bruv. Fourth uh, roofer tomorrow. No nah, mate, these boys are the chaps, I've got a good feeling. They know what they're doing, bruv. They ain't messing about. You alright? How are ya? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you very much. Coping? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting there, aren't I? Looking good, yeah you are. Getting there, slowly but surely. Got any music on? No, my battery's run out. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, got, to, got to charge it up tonight. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's such an old-fashioned thing. It needs um, a funny socket to put it in. Oh no! Yeah, it's not a modern gadget, unfortunately. Well, I've never seen anyone use them for that. Is that? What are these? Well, yeah, I know, but I couldn't think of any other way of doing it. No, it's clever. Um, I thought about getting a strip of metal, but there's just no space underneath there to put it. I mean, trying to do it with that, I mean, I'd get so much on there. Yeah. Um, oh, well, it's just... So I had this bright idea, but... It's worked. It's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. I noticed that earlier. It's the old, old school always yeah. found a way, didn't I know. It? I have some ideas sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been doing it for 65 years. Knows what he's doing. I'm so... 65, I'm only 61 and a half. Oh, I thought he'd been doing it 65 years. <laughs> He's been painting since he was eight. <laughs> He's been painting 20 years. He's 28. <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> oh what are you doing, Sam? Playing ball in a barra. Ball, ball in a barra? I've never played ball in a barra, but I think that's impossible. 
Did no. you get it in? That'll you got to bounce it in. No, it's straight in. That won't go straight in. It'll bounce out. <laughs> ah! Told ya. Told ya. Yep. Yep. Yes! Done, oh yeah, you're tired. You look like a little kid on the floor. See you in the morning. Eat a jar of peanut butter yeah. or a jar of matter baby. Well, I don't know what matter baby is. Nothing, mate. Dickhead. What's a matter baby? No. <laughs> I would have done peanut butter and eggs. I love it. <laughs> mate, do you know what? I've actually had a few people, yeah? I do work at a school. I work at a school. They went, get their signature. They're famous now. <laughs> I said hardly. <laughs> T1, often copied, never equaled. What? There's an art in this dashing though. This is why I'm not attacking it myself. Yeah. I, yeah. I have a look at the stack up there. Lovely. I'll do it. But when it's a big flank, oh, that's all right. That'll be all right. At the back. It's lumpy boy, isn't it? Whole back of the house, isn't it? Come on, that night. Come on. Oh. 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 What have you just done? Mike, oh, I landed screen down. Oh, man. Oh, it was fine. Oh, oh, let's have a look then. Oh, no. Has he? Where? Oh, we need to have a purchase. He was always getting cracked. I'm two foot off the scaffold. Ten foot off the scaffold. How long is it? Two foot. foot. <laughs> oh, Dino. I did say Dino. <laughs> You've done it. Oh, that's proper done. You know, you smashed that. Come out your public liability, mate. How's it going, anyways, brothers? All right, mate, so we're going to do the dashing, and we still might, but we're going to do the dashing on the stack today, but it started to rain this morning mm. when you was offloading your content. I didn't yeah, want to take the risk. I didn't know if it was going to pour down or not. Yeah. So I decided to jump on, put the EML over the crack, and then... Where's Cal? Cal, nightmare, mate. Charles off sick. Oh, no. Megan's off sick, so Cal back to cover her. Yeah, oh, I see the queues outside the old cap as well, mate. <laughs> Ill for the night out, bro, isn't it? Oh no, it's they not worth got, it. They all got ill when they went out, bro, all the girls. And this is what happens. Because me and Sam up there doing that with just me and Sam, and these boys just turned up. Like, doing that with just me and Sam, running the stones up. Do you know what I mean? So I thought I'd jump on this instead. But like, we're going to pebble dash over the top of all of this as well. So this will get glued up. These are all solid. So we took out where it was cracked, EML'd over the crack and then scratch it back in, level with that, and then we'll come over when this comes out, hopefully three weeks in. Why have you got to scratch it? For the next coat to stick to it. We'll PVA the whole thing up though, and then go straight on top of that. Hello Sam. How you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm not bad. How's it going over here? Yeah, good, just keeping the area clean. You know what I mean? I'm not clean. No. Covered in it. You're... I'm dirty, but... You're a bit of a mess, Sammy boy. Alright. But, your feet are warm. Oh, Calvin's in a very good mood today, aren't you? What do you mean? Yeah? Got it last night, got it last night. Did he? No, I Calvin! What are we doing over here, bud? We are doing the same as what we were doing upstairs. So we're strapping the cracks up with a bit of EML. EML, I haven't seen this bit yet. Do How not. does this work? So it's expanding metal lull, that's what it stands for. Okay. EML. And uh, yeah, basically it spreads the crack loads. Where, where the windows are and whatever else, the old house, mate, brittle bricks over time. A little bit of movement. We've only checked the subsidence, there's no subsidence. Um, yeah, you, you get it. stress cracks basically in the property. You get a bit right. of stress cracks. So this is stress. So what we're doing is strapping them up, and then we render back over it, tie it all together. So just a little drill and plug. We we'll scratch it, eh? bring it out level to the render, to the dash, and then re-dash it. When we take all these out, all that that bit of render will fall out anyway. So, so that's nice. essentially just the plaster holding them together. Those cracks. <laughs> Same as, you know when you, plaster, when you do plasterboard on the inside? 
and you get your two uh, blastables together, you have a joint and you use scrim tape. Right, yeah. Fibre tape, and that stops it. any movement. Every, every house moves. Yep. The land moves, right? It's like sewing up an injury. Exactly that. What have you done? What have you done? Nothing. What, you've cut it too well short? short? Why'd you do that, mate? Is that all right? The crack only goes to there, though. Yeah, as long as it's over the crack. Can you keep the noise down, please, mate? Sorry, dude. Only got a few in there because what it do? The old, um, the old render holds it all back, lovely jubbly. Have it. Anyway. He's supposed wall. to be doing a crack. He's done half the flank of the wall. He's supposed to be doing the crack was this big. Look how much have you seen how much she's done? Yeah. Like how much she's taken off. What do you do? Actually you've got to learn to stop somewhere. Where it's solid or solid enough, stop. Because you could end up, you might as well just flatten the house and rebuild it. How are you doing up here? Oh, we're still waiting for that cut tea again, I tell you. <laughs> you not got one? No, no, I have one this morning. Oh, you have one this morning? Yeah, no. One? Yeah, one's as good as yours, mine. That is poor. <laughs> weren't, weren't as good as mine? No, one's as good as yours. Yeah, it's getting. You're just trying to butter me up, so I'll make you another one. Yeah, no. <laughs> Looking good, though. Been on the pump for me, innit? Yeah. He reckons he's skint, he reckons. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have teeth like that if you're scared. Listen, I've given that out for you. Make sure you get it. Yeah. You're welcome, brother. Have a good one, yeah? <laughs> tell them, tell them, mate. Anything interesting? Pardon? Did you get anything interesting? Ideal, I've got cooking stuff for my son tomorrow because he's making his own pasta and bread. Is he? He is. No way. First time ever? No, he makes it at school, so he's got to do it for exam. Oh, right. Oh, food tech. Food tech, yeah. Oh, cool. All the ingredients, then. Oh, I miss those days. <laughs> I never used to take any of it in. Did you not? Just go there and sit there, have a cup of tea, and make some toast. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done food tech. Don't I wish I did. Don't take that, please, yeah. later on. It was just a DOS lesson for me. Teacher didn't care. You're clever now, look. Yeah, look at you now, mate. Yeah, look at me taking it all back off the wall. <laughs> well, I hope he knows what he's doing. The boiler's too big. What? The reps scaled it up massively. I don't know why, so he just had a phone call and they're going to call us back. But I say that boiler, they do not like commercial, which is far too big. And we're limited on space, so. Is it really big? Yeah, well, all the fittings on it are like that hanging out the boiler, like big 28mm. And so like that, hotel size? Pretty much, yeah. Like, I say, I fitted a boiler that big, or almost that big in a leisure centre. What? I don't want to touch your dirty mouth. Why? You've got a clean mouth. You've got a Taking it back to here all the way round. Yeah. So basically, when they cut down the windows, they shuffle out easy. Right. We could normally just go to about 10 mil. And, and why is the that? whole corner off. Huh? And why is that? What do you mean? Why would you usually only go 10 mil? Well, it depends if you knew the thickness of the profile that comes out. The thickness of the profile? Know, yes. So by taking that whole corner off, basically if the profile comes out this far, then Brad can just have a clean finish on it after. Right, so we're going to go back to here, yeah? So upstairs, if you come up there and have a look with me, the frame is completely bare. So that window should effectively just fall out once you take the screws out. Nails, it's been nailed in. And after, other windows smack straight back in, and then Brad can finish that up there. Brand new pebble dash. Like that, the single ladies one. Beautiful. Here he is. So this is what I was talking about, eh? Yes, Calvin. So yeah, look, just release the top. So when they cut the wood, it just falls straight out, effectively. And then just run it down this side. Are you ready for some noise? I don't know why I did that. Can you film me on my phone, please? Because I need some for the uh, I need some for the Bald Grub page. If you don't follow it, we're on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at the Bald Grub. And I've got a blister. I don't know if I told you. Oh my! I know it's bad, isn't it? It was touch and go to whether I come in today, but because I've got gloves on, I'm all right. Did you go A and E yesterday? Yeah, mate. Yeah. What did they say? I don't really want to talk about it. To be fair, it's okay. Emotional. I wanted to show you what I've just been doing. 
Okay. So obviously, Brad's been doing the cracks with the EML. Is that what it's called? Yep. With the EML. So I've been going around the windows. And He's learned how to use it now, so he won't put it down. You see his legs <laughs> swinging and everything. Look at him. I've never seen him with a tool in his hand. I know. That's why I won't give it back now, because he's learnt a new skill, hasn't he? Hello, Sam. Me and Barney are on um, boiler patrol. All right. Phone call duties. Phone call duties, just sorting out the boiler. Right. Changing it over, they've given us a swimming pool size boiler. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit... Massive. Overkill. Yeah, it was... Uh, Not the cylinder, the boiler. Good. The cylinder's all right, the big cylinder thing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. the boiler. That's nearly as white as your trainers. It's almost there, isn't it? Does that set off the pan a bit better then? <laughs> I thought that's what it was, isn't it? A little tanning bit. It looks like it, didn't it? Like <laughs> <Lights are up. laughs> Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. He's probably satisfying this. What, rendering? Mm. Uh, Plaster in general? Yeah, yeah. Ethan's had a go, haven't you, mate? Yeah, it was quite fun actually. I just couldn't get the hang of taking it off the hook. Yeah, takes time. To Is learn that the that. hardest thing? Yeah, it takes time to learn that, mate. You've got to turn that at the right angle, and then. Ah, oh, right. You skim it off the top. Yeah, you take it off. Like you take a. Yeah, that's what I couldn't do. Get a little. So you've bit. got to flick it. So you want a little bit. You've got to flick that up as you push that into it. So. Right. Ooh. Yeah. That's very cool, that. You got to put loads of pressure on as well to get it in all the you got to put nooks it on, and crannies. Yeah. Put the pressure on so it sticks. You know, you want it to stick, don't you? It's no good going too light because then it ain't adhering to it. Yeah. That one's scratching and that one's dubbing out. As we've got a little bit done, not as much as we wanted to get done, but nonetheless we've got something done. How's that for you? Exactly that, mate. And that is enough because otherwise. You stir crazy, getting pissed off. This is what happened, you know? It happens all the time, especially in the trade. You get pissed off. I ain't got the plan, ain't got the plan. So you keep thinking about it like that, it won't go to plan the next day either. You do your forearms. Yeah, it hurts. Your forearms, didn't it? Ache, there. I've got a little bit in your... Ache, yeah. there. Tennis elbow, shoulder. Any plaster I tell you, mate. Oh, the industry, the old spread game, boy. You know what, I got into spread work. What was that? My dad's mate was a plasterer and he used to earn a thousand pound a week. In my first size. Yep. And I thought, wow. I left school at 13, went roofing for a year, went scaffolding for a year, and then he was like, so I went back to college when I was 15, one day a week till 17, passed out as a full time plasterer. Fucking love the money. That's Harry Enfield. And you know Harry Enfield? Yeah. He's a plasterer. Oh, okay. And, and he's famous saying, loads of money come from that. Because plaster was back then were earning loads of money. Roll it off, what, as in flatten it all out? Yeah, just take a few high points off. Not much, if anything, look. You're going to the existing pebble that's right? And then we scratch that, put a little bit more around the bottom, we scratch that, and then tomorrow we'll give it another little tight coat, scratch coat. And then that'll be ready then for me pebble dapper, mate, whoever that is, I don't know who that is yet. Because that's too big for me. I ain't got the energy no more. No. Know your weaknesses, bruv. There's no way I'll be able to do that now and okay. do it justice. Till tomorrow. Day done. Another day done. Uh, tomorrow we're doing ball builders and friends, but we're here because we got let down. So we're still going to do a Ball Builders and Friends episode, but it's going to be with the roofers, plumber, and us. It's going to be a bit of a mix match. Mm. But it's what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Ain't what it ain't. Good luck with your viewing. Update and overcut. So is it adapt and overcut? Yep. Bye, Sam. Bye, Ethan.